All right, first things first, let's take a look at the old pads. This is after 58,000 miles. Yeah, 58,000 miles, guys. 58,000 miles. Yeah, I was living on the edge, literally. Let's take a look at the rotors. There you go. These are the original rotors. You can see they were pretty much, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see the lip here. Brake pads are Z26 pads from PowerStop. They uh, are carbon fiber infused ceramic pads known to give off less brake dust. Because as you guys know, the stock pads on these Chevy SS holding Commodores are, ops are awful when it comes to brake dust. You drive it for 20 minutes and it, your, wheel is just, your wheels are just coated in brake dust. All right guys, so this is what the wheels look like after driving a short short distance after washing them last night and even with the stock pads that I had before you would see dust first impressions you know when I was breaking in the, the brakes um, yesterday after getting them installed you know they definitely felt different as you guys know the stock pads and rotors are pretty damn good they have a lot of bite maybe too much bite for some daily driving because it is aggressive when it when you hit hit the brake even when you're not getting on it really aggressively it really you feel that jar you know what i'm talking about that ugh. if you uh, you drive your ss daily you get used to that right like i did i got used to it no big deal it doesn't feel like you know i have to press hard or anything like in terms of like the gas or the brake so yeah. it's all just so smooth and that's what i love about it most with these power stop brakes rotors and z26 pads they only bite, based on seat of the pants feel, nothing scientific here, they only bite maybe 90 to 95% of strength, of bite strength. <laughs> if that, if that's, if that's, is that even a term compared to against the stock brakes? As far as stopping power, the same feel. I mean, when I was getting on them, breaking them in yesterday, and, and um, getting on it a few times last night, it wasn't an aggressive, punch it's just a smoother smoother uh braking experience versus the aggressive bite of the stock now one thing i noticed also i feel a pulsating sensation coming through the brake pedal so it's very very subtle i don't feel it on normal daily driving when i'm not getting aggressive on the brake but if i do get aggressive on the brake which i did a few times last night you feel it I only say it that way because it's 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 a it's very noticeable at first because you're not used to it. It's like, whoa, what is that? And the reason being is because these have these are cross-drilled rotors. There are holes in there that takes away some of that surface area for the pad to to uh, to uh, make contact with. So those holes provide that feedback through the brake pedal that creates that sensation of peaks and valleys. That sensation of peaks and valleys because of the cross-drilled holes in the rotors. For those that don't know, the purpose of cross-drilled holes is to dissipate heat. I'm not concerned with track work. It does look damn good though. I, I gotta say, it looks really good behind the, the gloss black wheels. Now that I said that they don't bite as hard as the stock pads and rotors, does that mean I don't like these pads? Hell no. I, I love these pads and the, these rotors are great. They look great. They stop the car really, really well. It's confidence inspiring. They give off less dust, which is a plus if you like to keep your wheels clean longer in between washing. So I think it's a great balance. If you want something great for street that's comfortable to use, but still high performance oriented for those um, you know spirited driving situations, if you know what I mean. I, I, I'm very impressed with these. These are awesome. I highly recommend them.